we found out uh, last year through Bryce Dallas Howard that they were indeed, Universal was going to make another Jurassic World movie. But according to Bryce Dallas Howard, it was not going to be any of the returning characters. It would kind of be a new era, new characters they were going to follow throughout. Still the same world, but you know, new characters, not bring in the legacy characters, stuff like that. It was a long time then passed. And then we found out, yep, they're moving ahead and they've got a director. And the movie's coming out in 2025. And the director was, was it David Leach from, uh, from John Wick Chapter 4 that they had brought on who was going to direct it? Wow, they made this big official announcement. Literally 48 hours later. Oh, he's not directing it now. Like, what the hell happened in 48 hours? Not a good look for the studio, regardless. Then we all started wondering, well, they don't have a director now, probably not coming out in 2025. But according to new news that just came out, they've got a new director. And they're still sticking for that summer 2025 release date. This comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who wrote, We've now confirmed that Gareth Edwards is in talks to direct Jurassic World 4 for Universal and Amblin Entertainment. Edwards, perhaps best known for his work in Star Wars anthology movie Rogue One, is fresh off the critical su success of his sci-fi action movie The Creator, which was a remarkable feat in direction. With such a low budget, did such a great job on that movie. Uh, at any rate, The Creator, which is up for two Oscar nominations for Best Visual Effects and Best Sound. The untitled Jurassic World 4 is still set still set for a July 2nd, 2025 release date, though no production start date has been announced as of the time of this writing. So, March, April, May, June, July, we're talking 17, 18 months. They haven't started shooting this giant dinosaur movie, and they're still saying in like 17 or 18 months it's going to be in theaters. All right, well, let's put that aside for a second. I love Rogue One. I do. I, I think Rogue One is, I think you got the original trilogy and then I think you have Andor and then the next best thing Star Wars has ever done, I think was Rogue One. I, I absolutely loved that movie, but, but, you know, whenever this comes up, there's always going to be the question of how much of the final movie that we saw in theaters with Gareth Edwards, how much of it was actually Tony Gilroy, who then later went on and did the Andor series. Okay, that's fine. But man, then he comes out and does The Creator, which not in my top five best movies of the year or anything, but when you hear what budget they made that movie for... He made it sprawling and epic and beautiful and a great story. He did a really great job with that. If he can bring some of that sensibility and however much of his sensibilities ended up in Rogue One to a Jurassic World, I'm not going to lie. I'm not as excited as I was with like a David Leach being director, but this is a, another really good name that I would be excited about. So look, yeah, can the Jurassic World movie continue? Last one made over a billion dollars, so why not? Rob, what are you thinking about this uh, new hire? I think it's a great uh, a great hire. I mean, obviously, I, the script has to be great because Gareth Edwards has real vision and 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 real scope. And he they they really pioneered new effects technology. The fact that they went and shot all their live action, and they don't need to put up green screens and they don't need to put up tracking marks now because the technology is advanced. And I thought the use of CG uh, tech in the creator was beautiful. I thought the script, you know, wasn't perfect, but you know, Edwards comes out of effects technology. His first movie, Monster, he made for like fifteen yeah, grand, yeah, which is really good, really good. The effects he did those effects himself. He really has an understanding of how to best get bang for your buck. He did Godzilla already, you know, Rogue One, now the creator. I think it's a good choice. I just am really interested in what the movie is going to be about, and as long, just make people get eaten. The more human deaths that we can see at the hands of dinosaurs, I want to see bodies torn asunder. I want to see city streets destroyed by rampaging Tyrannosaurus rexes. I want to see cars destroyed. I want to see airplanes destroyed. Just give me massive dinosaur devastation and I'll be happy. You know, still to this day, my favorite scene in any Jurassic World movie of a person getting eaten. I already know what it's going to be. It's from the first film. Yeah. Yeah. The lawyer in the yep. outhouse. <laughs> it's never been it's, it's never yeah. been uh, surpassed. I know, no. and it's never dated, and it blows away, and he's sitting there on the point, and boom, the head comes down. Best scene in a Jurassic World movie. We need more of that. Yeah, go full on R rating. I, I and oddly, I think that's one of my top two. And my my other favorite scene is also from that same movie, but it's just when the hunter dude is going after the uh, Velociraptor, and then he turns his head and goes. 
clever girl. Uh huh. Oh, such a great scene. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video. Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for 15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash cam. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Um, anyway, if they can bring some of that magic back, I'm all for it. I think this is a good, uh, a good choice. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.